Hey guys, how's it going? So, we here with a little game review video again. I know we barely do those, it's mostly movie reviews now. But we're gonna be talking about Funko Fusion. I recently played it on the channel, uh, finished it yesterday. So all the videos are out, except for the bonus stages. I didn't do like the, the extra cameos like FNAF, Megan, Chucky, Mega Man, uh, nope. I'm trying to think if there's any, any other big ones. FNAF, did I say FNAF? I think I did. But anyways, let's talk about it a bit. So, tons of properties in this game. Um, as I was playing, I was kind of thinking of different properties they could have added. You know, like space balls. You know, because I saw Battlestar Galactica and I was thinking around like the space theme movies. And I, I feel like space balls would have been perfect for this. There's plenty, plenty of different scenes. Um, what was the other one I was thinking of? There was another one I was thinking of. Oh, for horror. Um, what would have been cool is, you know, I was thinking about it and I was like, Eddie keeps choosing these places where you can easily kill somebody. Why doesn't he just jump in like Jason or something? You know, fight at 13. I mean, you could probably still whoop his ass, but I mean, it would be a little harder to do that. But I would have loved to see more horror. I know they only really did... Chucky and Megan and stuff. I would have loved to see a lot more of it. Um, but you have the main properties, the seven properties in a story mode. You got Scott Pilgrim. I knew nothing about, but it was pretty cool. It was like a video game ish type of style to it. Uh, again, in all these places, it's it's nice, especially when I know some of them. Like it, you, you look around, you're like, wow, this is really in the game. But, um, what are the ones I didn't know? Umbrella Academy. Now, I'm not going to go too far fetch into these, like, because just in case you guys want to play it or something, you know, and it's just so much to talk about. Uh, let me see if I can remember them all. I hope. Uh, Jurassic Park. I knew about that one. Well, I don't think I've seen every single film, but I, I, I know enough. I keep saying Jurassic Park. Jurassic World is what it's based off of. Not Park. I don't I keep saying that. The thing, that movie was awesome. I'm glad we saw it here. I guess that kind of counts as horror too. Um Masters of the Universe. That one was fun. I don't know nothing about it. I, I know it's cartoony, so I I personally loved it. So that's five so far. Where are the two I'm missing? Oh, Hot Fuzz. That movie was awesome. It, it came out great in this game. Uh, and there's one more I didn't talk about yet. I'm trying to think. Oh, Battlestar Galactica. Duh. I just talked about it two seconds ago. But yeah, those seven are part of the main story. And there's bonus levels all throughout the game that you, that you could find. You know, FNAF levels. You know, pretty much everything I talked to you guys about. Um... There's probably even some that I haven't even said yet. I don't know. Well, Back to the Future. I didn't mention that one. That has a bonus level somewhere. Um, lots to do in this game. You can unlock characters. You have Funko Pops, which have, like, physical codes in the back of them. So, you know, kind of sucks you have to open them. But, you know, it's kind of the only way you could do that. Uh, Cosmic Freddy didn't come out yet. But that one's going to be... I feel like people are going to like that one, too. Um... But yeah, a bunch of pops. They made a, like a, a wave one and then a wave two. So if they're going to do more, they technically could. There's plenty to put in there. But um, that's how you get like some of the characters if you want like exclusive ones. I know some retailers like Walmart, GameStop, Best Buy. Um, they had different characters, like corrupted versions of the characters. I think Best Buy had Chucky and someone else that I don't remember. GameStop, I know, just had McGreedy. No, no, it was that Walmart. Oh, crap. I don't know. But there was a corrupted McGreedy. And another one was corrupted Chucky that I just talked about. The regular exclusives that you get are the um, Walking Dead pack. Um, The other one, I think if you get from Steam... You got, like, the Team Fortress 2 characters. So, that's pretty cool. I've only ever seen them in, like, memes and stuff. I never really dove into that game. Um, oh, and, uh, speaking of Steam, 
I was also thinking Left 4 Dead would have been great in this. I know what you're thinking. Oh, but you know, it's not really a lot. Well, you could have had the tank be a boss at the end, right? You could have just based it off to the first level where they were running to the hospital. That could It would have been perfect. It would have worked. Can you imagine Eddie jumping into a tank? Oh, boy. That would have been scary. But, um... Lots of things they could do with this game. I don't know if they're going to put in any more. I mean, I'm, it could be a one-and-done thing. You know, almost like how LEGO Dimensions, they had everything set up and they never really came out with any other DLCs or nothing like that. But who knows? You know, because I don't know if they're going to make another game. So if they stick with this one, they might want to add more to it. Um, 10 out of 10 in my books because I love Funko. And when I found out the game was coming out, I practically shit my pantalones. But... Great job, Funko. Great job, everybody. TT Games. You know, they did the Lego stuff. Um, it was amazing. I loved it. I, I, I wish I had more of a chance to dive into some of the properties. The Mummy. I just remember that one's in this. Um, there's a lot of properties in this that I, I had no clue about. Some of them I didn't know. And those I, I reacted to more. As you saw through my uh, thing gameplay. I was, like, I was talking a lot more. Because some of these I know a bit about. You know, otherwise, I'm just diving into it. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Oh, man. So you could tell him, like, my voice a little bit. And some of the gameplays, I know a little bit more. Um, The boss fight was nuts. I feel like it took five years. I don't know. Maybe I was doing something wrong. But that, and, you know, I gotta give him credit. I think there's five levels to each property. So tons of things to do. Tons of collectibles. KFC clouds with this, and, and if you got food from them, you you claim like free skins for the game. So Colonel Sanders was in the game too, and this yeah they branched out everywhere. They they've done a lot. Um, I think it's only physical copies for PlayStation and Xbox. I think Nintendo's coming later. Actually, it could be out by now. I don't even know. But um, yeah. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this game review. There's a lot I could talk about with it. But yeah, it's. That's the gist. You know, it's very fun. I know a lot of people have been talking shit about it. You know, that's just the people that don't like Funko. That's what it is. They talk calling it a cash grab and stuff. I personally enjoyed it. I think it's things that you probably would have never seen into their own video games or Funko Pops. Um, There really is something for everybody in this game. Even if you don't, don't like a franchise, you can always just branch off and do something else. But, um... Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this game review video. You heard my rating, 10 out of 10. Go play it for yourselves. And I'll see you guys in my next video.